Ahoy hoy, I am Planner Walk and welcome to a stream for the first time in ages because the internet has been, well, let me switch the camera so that you can see me. Internet has been not good, but now it is good, which is good. Uh, essentially my internet, so what happened? is because of something to do with my uh, landlords and everything the internet where I am got cut off before it was meant to get cut off now the internet company that we were with was a was an internet company called now All right so terrible terrible internet company oh 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 <laughs> One second, I know what that's from. Ah, oh, give me this. Oh, oh. oh. filters, okay, let's turn the, there we go. Yeah, now I don't have any reverb, I need to, t I need to make sure that when I start streaming that I don't have a whole lot of reverb. Uh, reverb on my voice anyway with the reverb off my voice so it was oh yes so now terrible internet company uh don't go with now because i was only getting 14 megabits per second up and 14 megabits per second down on a good day now i get what is it something around um, let me th think about this. Something around 26 megabits per second. Yeah, around about 20 bit, six mega megabits per second. Way better than I did before. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so we've got new internet. Oh, no. So what happened was after the, we got the internet back because it was cut off earlier than it was supposed to be. What happened is I came down with a cold, right? So I came down with a cold and felt terrible because I don't like having colds. Colds are... But, okay, here's the thing. People say that if I had the flu, I'd know when I had it. I actually don't know if I'd know when I have the flu. Because... Either my colds are always terrible, or I'm getting a flu and just don't realise it. Because there are some times when I get colds that are just like, eh, it's fine, you know. There are times when I get that, it's usually like a few days that I have something wrong. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, um, after the, well, during that... The internet went off again. And absolutely terrible because, you know, I couldn't watch things on Netflix that I wanted to watch. You know, I wanted to watch... Ven now I can watch Venom, but, you know, I couldn't watch, like, things on Netflix because that would use data and I didn't have a lot of that. So, yeah, fun, fun times. But now everything's back, I'm over my cold mostly, There's a, I still have a bit of a cough, uh, but that's getting bit. it's getting better, you know, it's, I only cough once every couple of minutes, not every minute like I used to, so fun times. Uh, so yeah, and, but whilst every... Uh, RH said you got the Rona must I have not gotten my uh, booster yet and I don't think that it was coronavirus because I did not have loss of sm I did not have a loss of uh, taste or smell even though some people may <laughs> made me think that I might have had that because oh geez and it's not in the not where I am in New Zealand yet. 
unfortunately. At least I don't think so. Hold on. We have like let's just make let's just make sure that the Omicron isn't Oh, hold on. Here we go. Health.govt.nz. My favorite website to get things. Uh, uh. Where are they? Mm. Uh, there are a couple nearby, but not too close. Yeah. Yeah, the closest would be Canterbury, seven cases in Canterbury. Yeah. Anyway, things are... Things are, uh, fine. At least they are fine now. Any- Oh, by the way, I also made a new Twitter account that everyone should go follow. Um... Uh, Everyone should go follow this Twitter account here, uh, Hoi Hoi Games. Uh, because the reason being is because I'll post things to do with, uh, to do with uh, Lurfia on it. For example, there's this thing here. Essentially, this came from a glitch. <coughs> <coughs> so, what happened is I did not realize that. When you want to do 3D in Game Maker, you have to essentially make everything so that you ha when it comes to texture pages, you can't just have everything on a single texture page like what I had here. So you'd see backgrounds rendered, tile maps just completely rendered. Anything that's on this texture page was completely rendered not what i wanted the so but then i did this here which you know worked eventually but yeah i didn't this didn't work initially and Oh, one person said, can we talk about this Jake guy for a hot minute? Oh, yeah, so... <clears throat> I haven't heard a whole lot about this Jake the asshole thing. Uh, what I did... I... So I did notice this when I went to his channel. Lurf infighting. It's always it's always good. Like, is he like coming to is he coming to the conclusion that Jiranism is a Okay, let let's take a look at it because people probably want me to go through and let's see what Jay Am I going to agree with Jake or am I going to take Jiranism's side? Uh, let's see. Hi guys. Okay, that seems a bit too loud. Let me know how the volume leveling is, if it's too loud, too quiet, or what. Hi guys. I recently found this video on a channel called Q and Fees. He has two channels, one's called Q and Fee, and the other one's called Q and Fees, which you're looking at right now. I generally wouldn't trust a channel which has Q in the name. Mostly because I associate it with Q. Now with an apostrophe S. On this channel, Q and Fees, you can find what appears to be an old video from 2015 where Jaren Campanella, aka Jaronism, appears to have scammed his audience with a fake laser test.
Hold on, we got people. In... Here we go. Check this out. Kevin doesn't want to talk to me. So that's what I think is going on there. I don't think it has anything to do with just being bored or it's. And if you can get away with saying something that nobody can prove, then, then that's, they love doing that. Right? I mean, who's going to prove that? <coughs> I've just learned to give up. I can't, I'm not, I'm not standing up for And then people always say, like, they show up in the chat, like, Jaren, are you saying that you could never tell the difference? I said, no, I'm talking about the specific people I'm talking about. Jessica Alba. That's what I'm talking about. That's well, who I commented on. We or, all need to take a page from Jeffrey. I okay, what, what is he, what is this? Like, just, just like post trying to post pieces of shit in chat like that doesn't is that supposed to prove so <sighs> i don't know epstein's book no we don't it's like loosely loose lips sink ships you know what i mean so what happens is, is once you once you it looks like it honestly looks like slow mode is on <laughs> once you get uh t or, or maybe that's what you see when you're banned or something i don't often get banned, so. Or maybe it was timed out. Who knows? Turmoil within it. a community. It, it rots, and then <laughs> it has to kill everybody. So, you know, we really need to spread love and not hate is, is the message I think we need to share within the, the this truth community. That's but it's easier now. said than done. So, piece of shit. You banned me for saying this. You were just like uh, your two friends, your two bird plucking friends. You okay, I can. So there's probably there can be a few reasons for why it might have a white on this channel as subs only chat. Okay. So there's a few reasons why a green laser might have a white dot. Particularly if you are particularly if you are um have like different color thing that you're shining it on, right? Because the way that color works it looks works a little bit weird, but if you've got like something that the what how do I put this? might look a bit weird depending on what's in the frame because cameras do <coughs> right <coughs> cameras do adjust the colors that they emphasize based on what colors are in the are uh, based on what colors it can see should i say so for example if i were to turn off white balance on my camera everything would look a little bit different so that's what can make things look different uh let me actually let me uh go and do that and figure video uh white balance let's turn the white balance off well, let's oh there we go so if i turn the white balance down at least, then I look very blue. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die. And yeah, this doesn't do do much. Do you need to turn my focus? I need to work out how to make it so that the default is focus off. This never seems to be the default. But uh, anyway, yeah, so this is one of the reasons why, why we might be seeing a white dot. What do, you, what do I think about the secret space program? I don't think any about it, anything about it because it's secret. I don't know about it because it's secret. It wouldn't be very secret if everyone knew about it, would it? You was an irony. Piece of shit. Ronnie and Jason never showed your uh, fakery in your laser test, but I did. 
back in 2015 mm. and here it is again so it sounds a little bit like dell maybe maybe he's dell's uh brother or dell's cousin who knows so today i'll be heading out to the spot and do some pre-testing uh, make sure everything is ready for later this week so just a quick rundown on the specs in case you forgot it is a thousand megawatt green laser. Quick demonstration of how powerful this thing is. Green laser. You forgot it is a thousand megawatt green laser. Okay, let's let's see what happens. Is this a salad laser? Okay. Also, why my question is, why would Jiranism fake something like this? Right, why would, why would Jiranism fake something like this? I, I don't understand, because, why would he fake it with a different color laser is my question. You think he means a thousand milliwatts, not megawatts? Who, who knows? Maybe he has a thousand megawatts. Uh, isn't like. Hold on. I was. Okay, a thousand milliwatts. Isn't that just a watt? Yeah, that's a, that's one watt. That's a like a yeah. I was reading a thing recently. Why didn't he just say a one watt laser? I suppose a one watt laser doesn't sound as impressive as a thousand milliwatts. <laughs> still, a thousand milliwatts is still is this insane for a non scientist, probably. Although Duranism would consider himself a scientist, AB Science. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna just put this on to... This is too much fluff. Let's put this on to 1.5 speed. professional cameraman and use this fake picture on your beach look at the shadow on the handle <laughs> oh and no shadow on the left uh, pot piece of shit why would he okay why would Jiranism why would Jiranism fake something like that is wouldn't it be easy to just go and take a photo of Wouldn't it just be easy to go ahead and take a photo of a camera on a beach? You forgot it is a thousand megawatt green laser. Green laser. Green laser. Okay, yeah, this is ridiculous. Like, so a green laser will look green during the night because the background it's dark. During the day, it will look a lot more uh, white. The reason why the dark side of the moon doesn't, you know, it's blue during the day because there's, you've also got the atmosphere in front of it. Maybe that's a bad example, but... <clears throat> uh, essentially, colours change color depending on the context of what's around them. You know? Yeah, he's been going around telling people I, I don't allow free speech. 
Or, or actually, a better way to put it would be so your camera can only register like certain certain things. If there's something, if you're shining something really bright at a camera, then that thing is going to be white. It's going to be white, regardless of. Okay, if I if I shine. Okay, I think this is actually uh, quite light. I think from the. Like if I so oh yeah, so this looks yellow, but as I get closer to the camera, it becomes very white. Right, see, it's white because it's so bright. It's just a thing of optics. It's the one on Ustream, right? Well, there's, yeah, there's two of them on Ustream. One is the HD, which is this one. Uh, and then there's, oh, fake, fake spaceman and space is there. <laughs> he's been going around telling people I I don't allow free speech. Don't allow oh, you don't allow ice cream? Oh, God. Oh, not another one. Okay, well. So why have you banned me from the chat then, Joe? <coughs> Reminding you to treat each other <coughs> kindly and better than you Look, would treat yourself. Message not sent. You've been blocked by the owner of this video or a moderator for making comments in the chat. What do you call that then? That's what I'm talking about. So if you want to donate towards that, uh, you My question would be why My My question would be why would journalism fake it? When he could just go ahead, like why would he fake it in such an obvious if it were fake, why would it be faked in such an obvious way? When he could just you'd be like, okay, we'll just raise the height or something of this to make it you know. That'd be my question. It does seem kind of, like, this whole thing does seem kind of ridiculous, to be honestly. Not to say, then that's not to say that Jaronism is a trustworthy guy. I just think that... Jiranism is utterly incompetent, so he doesn't know that his fakery is shitty. I... I think that in this... In this case, it's not... I don't think that it would be him faking it, like... I really think that... It's just a case of... Him going out, doing it... Because he had the green laser. Right? If he wanted to do some kind of fakery, it's easy, like, it's, well, if he wanted to just do this, you know, in reality, it wouldn't be that hard to do. So, the, oh, he's from the Netherlands, not from Scotland? Oh, so, he sounded like Dell a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it just doesn't seem... One, oh, one person says, that's not a 1,000 megawatt green laser, it's aka a 1 gigawatt green laser. Yeah. That's... That's the real fakery from Jaredism. Him claiming that it's a 1,000 megawatt laser. Him claiming that. Oh, I just realized something. Like, my suggestion feed. Does anyone, has anyone heard about the whole Cracker discourse? Yes, I did say that slur. What are you going to do, cancel me? Apparently, like, a whole lot of people on Twitch have gotten banned for using the word Cracker. It's hilarious to me. A whole lot of... A lot of people getting banned for using the word cracker. It's just... Uh, who gets offended at the word cracker, honestly? I don't. And, you know... Cracker would be aimed at me, right? Because cracker is supposedly a slur against white people. I don't get offended by it, because... It's something where it hasn't been used in such a way... As to oppress anyone, like who's 
or to um, really... Uh, it hasn't been used in a way that's been like harmful in the same way that you know things like the n-word have like i don't know like that's just hilarious to me it's just hilarious that people were getting banned for for using the word cracker oh i don't really consider it to be a slur to be honest because like it has to be it has, like, I think that it has to actually be offensive to a large portion of people in the community that it's aimed at to be a slur. And I suppose with that logic, Karen can be considered a slur, but... I mean, it's also more of a descript... Like, you cannot be a Karen. It's a slur against white poor people. I mean, yeah, I'm also considered, like, a poor person. Uh, I suppose, like... It's just hilarious to me, to be honest. Although I suppose I don't have it worse than slaves, like... Kind of hard to have it worse than slaves, to be honest. Anyway. Oh, by the way, has everyone, like... Things we've got more people. Has everyone? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, we've got ten followers. Make sure you go follow Ahoy Hoy Games. I'll post a link to it in the chat <coughs> because jeez. Okay, yeah, Hoy Hoy Games. There you go. Yeah, because it's, I'll be posting like little updates to Flurfear on it, including, uh, I'll even, I've been doing a few things, yeah. Before we get on to the next thing, because the next thing is, uh, oh boy, sort of thing. So, yeah, so Flurfear is coming along really nicely. I have been... I, ha I have been... Okay, so, whilst I've got a whole lot of people here, I want to get everyone's opinion on this. So, what I have done is I have made some changes to the water. So, firstly, there's now an animated texture on the water. Fantastic. There is... I've also, on top of that, added a... Uh, Shader. So what a shader does is it just changes how things are rendered. Uh, this one essentially takes the colour of the water and just reduces the amount of colour that the water can have right down. It just nukes the amount of colour that the water has. The texture is actually like this. So this is no shader on it. When I turn the shader on changes a whole lot makes it look a whole lot different i think it's very similar to a tune shader in a lot of uh 3d renderers oh yeah so <clears throat> one time where the earth will actually be flat is in a video game it has a horizon your <laughs> Water is curved. But the horizon is flat, Tiny Captain. <laughs> and it rises to eye level. This is actually something that I paid attention to. Uh, it always rises to eye level with a bit of a camera trick because the camera will always point down to eye level. No matter how high you get. Need it. Oh, I will have a Mac version. What I use Game Maker. Game Maker Studio 2. Which does have 3D. So the water is actually 3D as well. Which is nifty. I actually talking about another tweet that I made on about this. I actually worked out why it works. 
So the reason why it works is because, well, the reason why the 3D in my game works is because what I have is I have a camera. So I actually have two cameras. So there's a camera that's the orthographic camera that focuses on the platform stuff. But then there's also another camera, which is a 3D camera. And this renders the water. Now, what happens is... What happens in the background is it actually renders the water to a, to a surface. Then it resets the surface and then draws that surface to uh, what you see here. What I found out is that when you... S I think it's when you set camera... When you apply a camera or apply a 3D camera, that's when it will set that camera to be active. But when you reset the reset the layer, uh, no, the surface, then it actually resets the camera. Why is Dawkins a subject today? Oh, we're, go we're going to get to that real soon. I'm just explaining. I, I, I need someone to tell me what looks better. <coughs> <coughs> does, so does, sorry, does the water look better with the shader on, like it currently is, or does it look better with the shader off? And everyone's opinion. So this is the shader off. And this is the shader on. No, he's not dead. Um, although... Hold on, let me... Put this up a bit more. That way people can see it better. There we go. So shader, shader on. Data off. Oh, it's you can. T there is a difference, which is why I'm essentially. F I'm thinking of having the shader on, but I'm thinking it looks better with the shader on. Just in my personal opinion, the reason being is because it looks a lot closer to what you'd expect from a pixel game. When I turn the shader off, it's. Just it's just, you know, like, very clearly, like, it's very smooth. I can also notice some of the seams on the... Okay, so... With the shader off, so this is just on the water, mind you. So if you're looking around here, where, where my mouse is, you'll notice that there is... You'll notice that there's a lot less uh, color. It's not as smooth as when I turn the shader on and everything smooths out a bit. The shaders... People can't really see the... Really? I thought the difference was quite obvious. It's... <laughs> I'm trying to work out how to explain the difference. Like, there's just... Like, the... Looks blurrier like there's a small... Oh yeah, so without the shader, it looks blurrier because it's of the... Oh, well, the shader actually doesn't blur the shades. It's... So this is the shader on, right? So shader's on right now. Right now the shader's on. Now the shader's off. When the shader's off, it looks blurrier because it's actually just using the texture rather than using the, uh, rather than applying a shader to the texture. I, I'm thinking that it looks better with the shader on because it matches the style more. Because... I can bring up the texture real quick. The tick. This is the texture here. So this is the texture here that it uses. You watch intense, in, intensively uh, when you saw. And saw really. 
So this is the texture. So on, yeah, on is less blurry. Maybe it's the animation. <laughs> so this is on and then off. On basically artificially reduces the blur by reducing the amount of color that it can use. Essentially. In that case, we're off since it's supposed to be in the background and it shouldn't steal too much attention. I don't think it steals too much attention either way, to be honest. Like when it's off, it's just kind of just... Eh? Whereas when it's on... Look, like, this is my opinion. I do like it on because it sort of matches the style, you know? And there's a slight colour change, but... But, who knows, you know? I'll, I'll wait for people to leave comments off. People prefer it off. Damn. I like this shader. Is it... We'll see, because some, some people say that it's... Oh, is that... Vast... I'll just l delete that for now. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what people prefer. Like multiple things. Currently, it's toggleable with tab. Actually, it should be really noticeable down here. So down in the bottom right. Should be noticeable, really noticeable now when I turn it. So currently it's on. Now it's off. Should be really noticeable because there's big difference. Anyway, uh, that was a thing. There we go, my mic is back on. I was trying to turn it back on, but it wouldn't turn on. Anyway, that that is a thing. Now let's uh, talk about Richard Dawkins. Okay, so. Now this is old news at this point. But Richard Dawkins decided to say, please sign the Declaration on Women's Sex-Based Rights. I have just done so. Now, upon first thought, a lot of people probably will go, oh, this isn't too bad. It is pretty bad, right? Whether you, whether, like, even if you think that trans people have gone too far or something, it's pretty bad. It is. It is very bad. So I'm not going to sign this. Um, now I haven't gone through all of these different things, but I do notice some of them. Uh, some of the, like... Like one of the things that it does, like it has like LGB Alliance. Oh, the, yeah, LGB Alliance is one of the activist groups that supports it. Of course, right? But that's not too important. You know, like bad people can support good things, right? Right? <laughs> but this is not a good thing. Uh, let's go, let's go to the about. Wait, is there any more information here? I think there's something to do with get the L out, uh, but we go to about. Um. <clears throat> not, not a whole lot on the about. 
I remember seeing a... Let's go to the declaration, right? All right. Oh, here we go. The shortest summary. All right. Now, the shortest summary doesn't make it sound too bad. In some instances. So, it says, We reaffirm motherhood as an exclusively female status. My question is, why? Why do you want motherhood to be exclusively... Why? What what does that what will that do? Is it just saying that you can only call someone who's you know assigned female at birth a mother? Is that what we're going with? <laughs> All right. So well, that's kind of weird. We reaffirm women's and girls' right to physical and reproductive uh, integrity and oppose their exploitation through surrogacy and related practices. I don't know how surrogacy is exploitation. We reaffirm women's right to freedom of opinion and expression, peaceful assembly and association and political participation. Which is, you know, you can, you can do that. You know, you have... Everyone has a right to freedom of opinion and expression. Unless you live in a country which it, you don't. Uh, in which... That's probably bad. We reaffirm women's rights to fair play in sports. That's, that's fair, although what do you mean by that is a good question. We reaffirm the need to end violence against women and girls and to protect the rights of children. Another thing which, another thing which uh, you know, doesn't sound too bad. You know, like, yeah, end violence. I'd prefer to end violence against everyone, but, you know, like... Maybe, maybe start with the people that probably have more violence enacted against them, you know? <laughs> Biggest Doggus says, do involuntary sur surrogates exist? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, it's really weird that they're like, you, we want to... Like, people are being exploited through surrogacy. Who's being exploited through surrogacy? Who? We oppose all forms of discrimination against women and girls that result from replacing sex with gender identity in law, policy, and social practice. It's like, okay, that's what you're upset about. Like, you're not really upset about motherhood being an exclusively female status. You're, you're upset about people being able to... Uh, some things being based around gender identity rather than sex. And I think that it's fine to have certain things based around gender identity. Like, not everything has to be about what genitals you have. You know, or what you're assigned at birth. You know? Um, and, so yeah, Gut has the introduction. It says articles. We'll go down to... There's... I've seen a. F I'll read full text. Oh, there we go. Okay, Article 1. Reaffirming that the rights of women are based upon the category of sex. Alright, and it says states should maintain that the centrality of the category of sex and not gender identity is in relation to women's and girls'. The fact that this is Article 1. Is very telling to me. The fact that it's Article One and it was sort of just a sort of, oh yeah, we this is something we support. Very telling, right? So it says for the purposes of this uh, declaration, the term discrimination against women shall mean any distinction, exclusion, or restriction made on the basis of sex which has the effect or purpose of impairing or nullifying the recognition, enjoyment, or exercise by women irrespective of the marital status on a basis of equality of men and women of human rights and fundamental freedoms in the political, economic, social, cultural, civil, or any other field. So, okay, so basically if... What it sounds like they're saying is if something 
doesn't can mean not a woman, according to them. Like, so if something can mean not assigned female at birth, that typically would mean assigned female at birth, then it's discrimination against women. <clears throat> That's what it sounds like it's saying to me. States should understand that the inclusion of men who claim to have a female uh, gender identity into the category of women by law, policies, and practice constitutes discrimination against women by impairing the recognition of women's sex-based human rights. States should understand that the inclusion of men who claim to have a female gender identity in the category of women results in their inclusion in the category of lesbian, which constitutes a form of discrimination against women by impairing the recognition of sex-based human rights of lesbians. <laughs> The oh, fuck! <laughs> you you worry? This is really a first world issue, first world problem. When you're worried that someone that's not assigned female at birth can be a lesbian, that's really like. That's first world problems. And, and it's like, if you don't want to have someone, if you don't want to have sex with someone who wasn't assigned female at birth, then don't have sex with someone who wasn't assigned female at birth. You know, like, if, if they force you, then that's illegal and you can go to the police about it and you should go to the police about it. But if they're just asking you or, or something, you know, like, you can say no, right? It's, it's... And then it's B. States in all shall take in all fields, in particular in the... States shall take in all fields, in particular the political, social, and economic and cultural fields, all appropriate measures, measures, including legislation to ensure the full development and advancement of women for the purpose of guaranteeing them the exercise and enjoyment of human rights and fundamental freedoms on a basis of equality uh, with men. Yeah, I mean, like, equality is a good thing. Yeah, that's not too bad. This should include the retention of laws, policies, and practice of the category of woman to mean adult human female, the category of lesbian to mean adult human female whose sexual orientation is towards other adult human females, and the category of mother to mean a female parent, and the exclusion of men who claim to have a female gender identity from these categories. Why? Now, I can understand sometimes, right, when having, you know, when you want, like, certain areas maybe a prison for example although that is one of the things where it's kind of up in the air to be more rigid on who's allowed in a prison i i can understand that or sports sports is probably a better example but just excluding trans people completely feels like it can go very bad Glenn Collins says, I like this declaration. It has a list of most of the male phobic organizations in the world that should be considered public service. <coughs> and then it goes on to say that states, sh and also like, what's the problem with mother, you know, meaning like trans woman? Like, uh, if, you're a, if you're a trans woman, then why can't mother apply to you? You know? Oh yeah, this is, this is turf stuff. This is a turf thing. Don't... This is... Yeah, this is definitely a turf thing. And then C. States should condemn discrimination against women in all its form, agree to pursue by all appropriate means... And without a delay of, 
and without delay, a policy of eliminating discrimination against women. Yeah, and discrimination against women should be eliminated. It goes on to, to say, and I don't know if it gets better or worse, this should include the elimination of the act and practice of discrimination against women, which comprises the inclusion of men who claim to have a female gender identity in the category of women. Such inclusion erodes women's rights to safety, dignity, and equality. You see how this is just turf stuff? This is, like, every point, <clears throat> every point, it can't just be, oh yeah, we want a uh, woman to have equal rights. It goes on to include something that is transphobic. States should ensure that the words woman and girl in the terms traditionally, traditionally used to refer to women's body parts and bodily functions on the basis of sex continue to be used in those constitutional acts, legislation, and the, prov the provision of services and in policy documents when referring to persons of the female sex. The meaning of the word woman shall not be changed to include men. It's like, like, here's the thing. Woman is, talks about the, the gender, right? If you, your gender is woman, then you are a woman. And then Darth Killer says, seriously, female gender identity uh, is such a word salad. Sex is... Okay. Oh, the female gender identity. Uh, yeah, I suppose, like... A lot of people will, um, yeah, a lot of people will use woman and female interchangeably, and it is something where, yeah, like, when talking about things like this, it is probably good to use the term female to refer to sex rather than gender. So that's how I am going to use it for the purpose of this, unless I am quoting this. I should probably... Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I've got people messaging me on Discord. I will get to you later. Article 2. Reaffirming the nature of motherhood as an exclusively female status. It says the... Seed... Seed door. <laughs> Emphasize... What's the CE digital audio words? What does CE stand for? Digital. I should have said Y chromosome folk. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Anyway, the C door emphasizes the social significance of maternity. And Article 12 states that states' parties shall ensure women the appropriate services in connection with pregnancy, confinement, and postnatal period. So, okay, well, currently only females can get pregnant, so, yeah, no. Uh, you know, it's not like there's a, <clears throat> a big issue around this stuff. But then, you know, like, motherhood doesn't have to mean that you... Like... <laughs> I have watched. I am going to not do that comment, uh, even though people can figure it out. Um, do does anyone know about the term stepmother? Anyone know that, that you can have a stepmother? A stepmother, in my opinion, is still a mother, right? They may not be your biological mother, just like just like. I've had stepfathers, I've Are we gonna say, you know, the only person that can be your father is someone who... <laughs> I just thought of a joke, and I'm going to... I am going to say that joke. The only person that can be your father is the person that, you know, is biologically related, you know, biologically your father. Like, okay, well... Does that apply to daddy as well? <laughs> I don't like where that's going if that applies to daddy. <laughs> the adoptive mother, that's, yeah. Are we going to... Yeah, in fact, I think my grandmother... No, my great-grandmother. 
uh, was an adoptive mother to my uh, gran. All right, and goes to say, goes on to say maternal rights and services are based on women's unique capacity to gestate and give birth to children. The physical and biological characteristics that distinguish males and females mean that women's reproductive capacity cannot be shared by men who claim to have a female gender identity. And it's like, okay, but you're arguing that you're arguing that it, uh, that motherhood, motherhood is not the same as the person that gives birth to someone. States should understand that the conclusion of men who claim to have a female gender identity into the legal category of mother-in-law. Are we talking? <laughs> Are we talking about mother-in-law or mother-in-law? <laughs> Which one are we? Which one are we talking about? Mother-in-law or mother-in-law? In law policies and practice. I, I mean, I know what one it's talking about, but policies and practice. It just, it just seems funny to me. And the corresponding inclusion of women who claim to have a ge gender identity into the category of. Oh! It, not only. Okay, I did not know this. Not only do they want people that are male to be only be fathers they want people who are female to only be mothers there okay uh, it's, it's at least it's being consistent on that front constitute discrimination against women by uh seeking to eliminate women's unique status and sex-based right this okay what unique what sex-based right do you have as a mother? What, alimony? Is, is that a sex-based right? Wait, no, that, that, would, that would be... That's, no, that's divorce. Um, child support, is that like... A, what, what happens if you adopt, right? And there's two, father, two fathers, let's say. Who gets this child support there? Then, you know? Go, and then it goes on to say, states should ensure that the word mother and other words traditionally used to refer, refer to women's reproductive ca capacities on the basis of sex continue to be used in constitutional acts legislation and the provision of maternity services and in policy documents when referring to mo mothers and motherhood. The meaning of the word mother shall not be changed to include men. The... The... The thing is... Mother is just used to refer to the... The parent that is a woman. Whether or not she gave birth to the uh, child... It doesn't matter. You can, you can have stepmothers, you can have adopted mothers, you can, um, you know. You can even refer to some people as daddy that are certainly not relate or shouldn't be related to you. You're calling them daddy, at least, and you're, you know, about... At least, you know, at an age where daddy means something different. <laughs> Sorry, I do have a dirty mind sometimes. And there's... Oh! Okay, here... Here is a question. To, to everyone. Wolfie 6020. Now, I'm sure every... I'm sure I don't need to explain the joke that he's not actually my father, even though people will say that he is, right? 
Although if Wolfie sixty twenty is in the chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> but like I was, even though he's not actually my father, people still call. He's almost like my father, you know. Like despite the fact that I've never met the guy. I mean, I've been on voice calls with him, but you know. anyway, Article Three. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> No, he is not my daddy. <laughs> Article 3. Reaffirming the rights of women and girls to physical and reproductive integrity. A. States shall ensure that the full reproductive rights of women... Oh, actually, I like this. States should ensure that the full reproductive rights of women and girls and unhindered access to comprehensive reproductive services are upheld. I actually like that. Uh, basically... You know, don't make abortion illegal, right? But then it goes on to say, states should recognise that harmful practices such as forced pregnancies, which is you know forcing people to go with through with a pre pregnancy, and the commercial or altruistic exploitation of women's reproductive capacities involved in surrogate motherhood are violations of the physical and reproductive integrity of girls and women and are to be eliminated as forms of sex-based discrimination. How is... How is surrogate motherhood... How is that sex-based discrimination? Next you'll want to be like adoptive motherhood is sex-based discrimination. How? Like, uh, you're, you're just like maybe being like, oh, we need reasons to, we, we need reasons to have more articles in here. States should also, should, states should recognize that medical research, which is aimed at enabling men to gestate and give birth to children, is a violation of the physical and reproductive integrity of girls and women, and is to be eliminated as a form of sex-based discrimination. Uh... How? 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 How was this like? This is just wanting to like they're like we need we need reason we need a reason to make this point transphobic. We need Add in, add in the, the thing that's, you know, we must not let men to allow to be able to give birth. Uh, it's... How, how is that sex... Like, if someone can give birth, right... Let's, let's say we do allow um, people that are signed male at birth, right? Let's say that we do allow them to give birth, right? Or we do have, have like a medical procedure that allows them to give birth. How is that discriminatory against women? Please, please educate me. I, I cannot see how in any world that that negatively affects women. It's like... Are, are we... Are, 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 are like... Natural pussy's magic or something, right? Are, are we gonna have like... You know, they've, they've got a soul. <laughs> and... We, <laughs> and... When a... <laughs> When someone who's assigned male at birth decides that they're going to go through all the procedure to be able to give birth, the souls of all the... Uh, this is stupid, really stupid shit. It's just looking for excuses to be transphobic. Article 4. Reaffirming women's right to freedom of opinion and freedom from, of expression. <coughs> goes on to state 
that states should ensure that women have the right to hold opinions without interference. This should include the right to hold and express opinions about gender identity without being subject to harassment, prosecution, or punishment. And then, yeah, like, you should not harass someone. Then, uh, if you post something in a public space, people have the right to disagree with you. Like, people... Like if I post if I if I post a bad take on Twitter, everyone has the right to disagree with me. If I say something, if I have a bad take on stream, everyone has the right to disagree with me. You know, they they have the right to go down to the comments and be like, "You're wrong." Am I attempting to be prescriptive? Uh, I'm not attempting to be prescriptive. They're attempting to be prescriptive. Uh, I uh, don't, I'm not prescriptive. Oh, there's someone in chat uh, being prescriptive. And it goes on to say that states should uphold women's rights to freedom of expression, including the freedom to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas of all kinds, regardless of their front frontiers either orally in writing or print in the form of art or through any other media this should include the freedom to communicate ideas about gender identity without being subject to harassment prosecution or punishment i, I think that also like there are times when you can when i think that it's fine to get fired from your job because of a certain position that you hold Particularly uh, if you, you know, hold a, like, if I were to, if, like, if there's someone at Activision Blizzard that says, you know, rape isn't that bad, I think that it's fine to fire them. Especially because that would be a PR nightmare. You know, I, I think that it's, it's okay to fire people if it's going to negatively impact the business that's just called capitalism. So I think that, you know, and if you hold ideas that actively, like, there's some psychologists that were fired for promoting anti-vax uh, ideas to their patients. That is, I think that's okay to fire them. Because, you know, they are seen as a uh, person that that you know has knowledge, right? Nobody is being prosecuted for their transphobia. Any prosecution they're experiencing is because they're engaging in harassment. Yeah. Uh, and then Darth Killer says, that, in fact, there are even cases where the one using transphobia is the prosecutor, the transparent laws. I, I, yeah, I agree with that, Darth Killer. And definitely. Um, there are, especially when it comes to bathroom bills, right? The, or the bathroom bills that aim to keep um, males out of female restrooms. That's trans, trans panic. And that, I think that's, you know, like, discrimination. And then it goes on to say, <clears throat> Did I read this? State should uphold the right of everyone to describe others on the basis of their sex rather than their gender identity in all contexts. States should recognize that attempts by state agencies, public bodies, and private organizations to compel individuals to use terms related to gender identity rather than sex are a form of discrimination against women and take measures to eliminate this form of discrimination okay if you have to okay i think that it's fine for someone to say hey can you please can you please use these pronouns i think that's fine now someone says i don't want to use those pronouns and repeatedly uses the pronouns that you ask them not to, that is harassment. 
something that, you know, this document, like, it, for example, if I keep, if I keep on calling someone who, this happened to me a lot in school, I repeatedly call someone who is a, is, a, identifies as male, and, you know, they, they identify as male, they were assigned male at birth, you know, they, they identify as a man, and I keep on calling them a girl. This happened to me when I was young. I think that that is, you know, harassment and shouldn't be done. And then we've got women's rights laws mistake going and saying patriarchy built the best we know whom. The, you do realize that there's like some females that like that contributed a lot, like the programmers that programmed things for the moon landings. There was the I think there was a woman that helped with Wi or was a big contributor to Wi Fi. Australian woman, I think. You know. You know, like, I, I think that it's, I think that women's rights are good. Like, don't get me, don't get me wrong. Women should have the same rights as men. I just don't think that it should come at the discrimination of trans people. And then there, there does have to be, uh, there does, Hedy Lamar. Yes, that's, I think that's the person that I was talking about. Australian woman, right? Nevada, Nevada would know. <clears throat> and then it goes on to say D states should prohibit any form of sanctioning prosecution or punishments of persons who reject to attempt to compel them to identify others on the basis of gender identity rather than sex <coughs> yeah uh, if someone asks you to refer to them as she her they them he him and you repeatedly uh don't say that then that's harassment and you can be the trans panic laws aren't about this bathroom they're about discovering and be the partner's trans reacting lethally and then using oh okay yeah I, I don't think that you should be allowed to kill someone just because you find out that someone is trans That, that, that is, yeah, that, that's, yikes. I imagine, imagine you get into bed with someone and then it's like, oh, they don't have the genitals and you fucking stab them. And it goes, Article 5, reaffirming women's rights to pe freedom of peaceful assembly and association. It goes, states should uphold women's rights to pe peaceful assembly and freedom of association with others. This should include the rights of women and girls to assemble and associate as women and girls based upon their sex and the rights of lesbians to assemble and associate uh, on the basis of their common sexual orientation without including men to claim, claim to have female gender identities. No. You can do that. Right? It's just that if you are... If you decide to assemble... You know, the Avengers symbol, and then, uh, you know, who, who, who's someone that's... And then Happy comes along, who doesn't have a, a Avengers identity, I don't know, superhero identity or something, you know, then Happy is a... You know, I don't think they're going to kick him out. Or they probably would be like, yeah, you should go away. Uh, but, no, that's bad. Bad analogy. But, like, if your group allows people to join, you know, if your group allows allies, firstly, allies are good. Really good. But if your group allows allies and you don't want allies, then that's your problem, not the group's problem. Right? But if the group says, you know, we want the allies to fuck off. Like, okay. 
I... What are you, like... Uh, are you part of... Are you, like... German? And I mean, like, 1940s German? Where you don't like the Allies? Allies were fighting against the Germans, right? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, bad jokes. Bad jokes! Um... You know, they, they do, can basically say, we don't want allies associating with us. Whether allies will still want to associate with you or not afterwards will be, you know, like, it's up to them. They can try us and associate. But, you know. Article 6, reaffirming women's rights to political participation on the basis of sex. A. States shall... Wait, hold on. Nevada says, I worked at a woman's only gym. I didn't realise I was... I didn't realise that I wasn't allowing to do that. I wasn't allowed to do that. Why weren't you allowed to work at a woman's only gym? Anyway, it goes on to say, States shall take all appropriate measures to eliminate discrimination against women and in the political and public life of the country. <coughs> and then it goes to, goes on to say, and this should include forms of discrimination of, against women, which consist in the inclusion of the, of the inclusion in the category of women, men who claim to have a female gender identity. All measures taken specifically to improve women's access to voting rights, eligibility for election, participation in the formulation of government policy and its implementation, the holding of public office, performance of all public functions, and participation in non-governmental organizations and associations concerned with public and political life should be based upon sex and not discriminate against women by the inclusion of men who claim to have female gender identities. So, okay, hold on, so, how do we, because they said women weren't able to assemble, what? I'm really con uh, maybe I'm missing the joke or maybe there's something about maybe it's a re reference I have goldfish memory uh, or maybe it's a reference to another joke I'm confused how that relates to the gym um, anyway, anyway um, what were oh yeah so all measures taken specifically to improve, uh, okay, so to improve women's access to all these things should not include men who claim to have female gender identity. Um, shouldn't we improve everyone's access to voting rights? That's it. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it now, Darth Killer. <laughs> states uh, should ensure that the adoption by states' parties of temporary special measures aimed at accelerating the de facto equality between men and women will only apply to persons of the female sex and not discriminate against women through... It's really just being like, yeah, we just don't want trans people to be included as women. That's really... Well, trans... We don't, essentially what it's saying is we don't want trans women to be included as women. That's really all it is. Until we get to Article 7, which I'm assuming will. Ah, okay. Reaffirming uh, women's rights to the same op opportunities as men to participate actively in sports and physical education. And it says, the same opportunities as says that the state party shall ensure the same opportunities to participate actively in sports and physical education for girls and women as for boys and men. 
This should include the provision of opportunities for girls and women to participate in sports and physical education on a single sex basis. To ensure fairness and safety for women and girls, the entries of boys and men who claim to have a female gender identity into teams, competition facilities, or changing rooms inter alia set aside for women and girls should be prohibited as a form of sex discrimination. Now, I think that we should just have, you know, I, I have said this multiple times, that we should just, you know, take the key parts that, you know, produce differences, you know, that produce unfair advantages between, uh, you know, different people in sports, and then be like, yeah, we'll base the sport more on this, right? Because, you know, if you're a... I have said multiple times that I would watch, I, I would legitimately want to watch short people playing basketball, like, you know, professional basketball. I'd t much rather take that over watching tall people play professional basketball. Absolutely. Darth Killer says, I take note that so far trans men and MBs have not been exist. I guess addressed i guess they don't exist oh they did a, they did address trans men at one point they said that trans men should not be fathers or, or should not be allowed to be called father so uh, you know if you're with someone who's a trans man trans man and you call them daddy i'm um, sorry but you're discriminating against women for some reason there yeah like the sports thing is like one thing where like there are important things about sports that need there are important discussions about sports that need to happen but it's just been hijacked and people are like oh but it's so complicated and it's like you know the, un the unfairness between men and women is so complicated and it's like so you're just simplifying it down to men and women you're just going to simplify it down to testosterone what about short people that uh, may have an unfair disadvantage? You know, short people exist. I know short people. Right? And short people tend to be females. Tend to be. Not always. Just get, oh yeah, just get rid of sports. You know, if, if short people can't compete in basketball, we're just going to eliminate sports. Well, MBs can't be neither dad nor mum, unless they're gender fluid. Their parents, sure, but not dad or mum. Yeah, I mean, what's the gender neutral? I. What's the gender neutral for dad or mum? My parents, it kind of just sounds. You know, like. Hello, parent. <laughs> like, imagine, imagine your child coming up to you and going, Hello, parent. It just sounds, I don't know, there's different weight classes uh, for a reason, just like, yeah. We can easily do that for other, other sports, you know, if weight, then divide it by weight. If it's height, then divide it by height. Easy. I mean, Chris, living in New Zealand is great. You know, we... Don't have to. <clears throat> don't have to worry about about um, a whole lot of things. Jacinda is not as good as like some people say. Like people will uh, say, "Oh, you know, she's so left wing," but she's actually not. She's actually very centrist. If you want to watch short people play basketball, fine, do it in the lower leagues. No, there's no point in having an elite short person basketball league, though that doesn't... I mean, if, if short people have... If, um, if short people have an unfair disadvantage, then aren't we trying to eliminate unfair disadvantages? Maybe, maybe if short people have an unfair disadvantage, then we're trying to eliminate uh, unfair disadvantages, because can't really change your height unless you know unless you're going through puberty or something you know and even that doesn't always work from what i can tell at least 
just look at the i'm not arguing okay i'm not arguing that are uh, there aren't differences between the sexes what i'm arguing is that maybe we should differentiate uh the unfair advantages based on something that actually makes more sense like um for some things it will that will be testosterone right what other Tapping more into that, the short in terms of basketball is still well over 180. Yeah, I'd like uh, people that, you know, are five foot, right? Five, five foot. I'd like to see five foot people play basketball. That would be... That, that would be more entertaining than watching people that are six foot and over play basketball. <laughs> just do the drug limpets, give everyone <laughs> all the performance enhancing drugs and go at it. That'd be funny. Um, I say leave the Olympic fairness to the various experts focusing on that and don't prevent people. Yeah, I, I would agree. Like, for, for example, when you take uh, HRT, like, you, so HRT basically, if you're taking estrogen, you actually lose some of the advantage, some of the advantages that you have from going through a um, female, no, a male puberty. If you take testosterone, you gain certain advantages. And rodent, uh, no last name says there are weight classes for boxing. Why not? Height classes for basketball. Exactly. We should, you know, like, if it, what I'm saying is, if there is something that gives someone a particular advantage, like testosterone, like height, like uh, weight, then, you know, maybe split it on that particular thing. Sounds like you can sit out and unfair disadvantage any genetic traits that Makes you slightly better at something than anybody else. Yeah, well, and, like, I think it's Michael Phelps, like, has an unfair disadvantage against everyone else. Now, the thing is, there will always be some form of unfair advantage. Now, trying to eliminate it completely, you're not really going to be able to do that. However, reducing unfair disadvantages to just men and women... And saying that uh, because you've gone, you know, because you've assigned male at birth, I mean, that basically completely, like, if you say that because you're assigned male at birth that you have to compete against men, you are basically um, completely like, discriminating against uh, trans women that go on to HRT. Because HRT does have effects such as reducing your muscle mass. Um, it reduces muscle mass. It, yeah, that's the main effect. That, like, it has some other effects, but the main one in relation to sports is reducing muscle mass. I think there might be a couple of others, but I don't know all the different things. Darth Killer says, if I'm not mistaken, they consider that after one year of HRT, it's fair to compete under the gender you had. I think it's two years of HRT. The problem with having five foot people play basketball is you dip into the realms of people calling it a freak show. What? I mean, five foot people exist. Why can't we just have five foot people playing basketball? As I said, more entertain. Like, the reason why I th consider it more entertaining is because, yeah, sure, slam dunks might be... Um, might might be fun to watch, but it's one of those things where I actually think that short people playing basketball would be far more skilled at basketball than tall people playing basketball, especially if you're trying to, especially if they're doing slam, if you've got a five foot person that manages to do a slam dunk, then that's impressive <laughs> compared to like, And Lucas Holmes says, disagree with the term unfair advantage, it's just an advantage and every single person has slight genetic differentials. Yeah, like, there will be people that will have advantage. It is basically advantages, but people are 
I'm using the terms that people are using for uh, the whole thing when it comes to uh, women's, uh, trans women in sports. They say, oh, they have an unfair advantage. Uh, they have an advantage, as, as you said, whether it's unfair, like, they tend to th use it to describe something which is significant, or what they think is significant at least, uh, that can't really be changed by, um, or doesn't, yeah, that they don't think can be changed. Vodok. Coco Vol says no amount of HRT will make Mavis pelvis structure change into female one, and that alone gives males advantage of every in every sport involving a leg movement. Does it? Is, like, is that such a big thing? Like, I, I don't know. Like, maybe, may, hey, maybe it is. Maybe there are certain things that uh, do. Maybe there are certain certain things like pelvic bones or you know pelvis structure that. Does give people a uh, does give certain people an advantage? Maybe, but it's, that sounds like it would be a small advantage. And then Glenn says, uh, "Not all cis women have broad hips." Yeah. And then Darth Killer. Says the thing, yeah, let's be real. The sports argument, as far as terse and gender criticals are concerned, was never about fairness in sports. It was all a place about breaking more eggs on trans people. I mean... Okay, Darth Killer, one thing I do disagree with is trans people break their own eggs. And I've heard of some people that have broken their eggs recently. Um, but I, I do get what you're saying. That it's about... This, like, it's about, you know... What's the thing? Trans panic, basically. Saying, you know, we can't allow trans people to compete in sports because it's, you know, because it's basically an excuse to, uh, you know, to talk about, say, trans people bad because trans people in sports is complicated. Well, <clears throat> He's right, though. Women tend to have. Uh, larger thigh muscles, it's a male pelvic structure that aids running speed. Okay. And that's something that should be, uh, that, you know, you can try and account for. That's why it's complicated. It's something where it's, it's something where it can't just be, you know, just sex. You have to go, okay, well, what's, what advantages and, like, if someone goes through a um, female puberty, then, like, so, for example, if they take puberty blockers and then go through a f female puberty, I believe that basically gets rid of all the advantages that you might have. Oh, yeah, Nevada has a point. Why, why do we keep on going on about competitive sports? Local competitions are a thing, yeah. Yeah, I believe going through a few female puberty gets rid of all of the advantages that you would have otherwise going through a um, male puberty. And then Article 8 says, reaffirming the need for elimination of uh, violence against women. Because states should work to ensure that to the maximum extent feasible in light of their available resources where needed, and within the framework of internalized cooperation that women subjected to violence where appropriate, their children have specialized assistance such as rehabilitation assistance and child care, maintenance, treatment, counseling, and health and social services, facilities and programs, as well as support structures, and should take all other appropriate measures to promote their safety and physical and psych logical rehabilitation i think that we should do the same for men like if you've been like if you're the victim of domestic abuse whether you're male or female i think that there should be ways in which you can uh you know there's programs to help support you once you leave an abusive relationship 
And it goes on to say, these measures should include the provision of single sex services and physical spaces for women and girls to provide them with safety, privacy, and dign dignity. Whether provided by public or private entities such as single sex provisions should be allocated on the basis of sex and not gender identity and should be staffed by women on the basis of their sex and not gender identity. I mean, it depends what, what it is, really. And, and if, so if it's a shelter, I, I think that shelters, like if you've got women's shelters for like, um, you know, trying to get, get domestic abuse, you got to ask why can't we allow trans women in there, right? Why? Is, are we... If someone's escape, if someone's going trying to escape domestic abuse, they're probably going there because they want to escape domestic abuse, not because they've got some nefarious thing in mind. There may be some uh, cases where that happens, but it's probably probably a very uh, probably something where you can filter that out by making sure that the that certain measures are in place to stop that from happening it's probably a bad place to go to do that as well I suppose there are some cases but like, again yeah men also undergo physical violence at the hand of their partner I said that <laughs> yeah so we should have things where um, you know places where men can go to be able to Domestic violence. Uh, then it goes to on to say single sex provision should include inter alia specialized services for women and girls subject to violence such as rape support services, specialist health facilities, specialist police investigation facilities and shelters for women and children fleeing domestic abuse or other violence. It should include it should also include all other services within which sex provisions promote the physical safety, privacy, and dignity of women and girls. These include prisons, health services, and hospital wards, sub substance misuse rehabilitation centers, accommodation for the homeless, toilets, showering, showers and changing room, and other enclosed spaces where individuals reside or may be in a state of undress. Single sex facilities designed to meet the needs of women and girls should be at least equal in availability and quality to those provided by to men and boys. The facilities should not include men who claim to have gender identities. Okay, I just wanted to... So firstly, when it comes to you know, this whole state of undress bullshit, right? So, can we just like have cubicles that everyone goes to? I, I, okay, I don't... Whenever, okay, whenever I go to like swimming pool or something, I make sure that I can find a place where I can get dressed without anyone seeing my naked ass. You know, I I don't want anyone seeing my na I don't want anyone seeing me naked. I don't want to see anyone else naked if I'm uh, at a swimming pool either. I don't care whether you're male or female. I don't want to see you naked, <laughs> right? Well, not at the swimming pool, at least. You know, there's some instances out, you know, where, you know, that, that, that's fine. But I, 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 that's why I never like using the urinal. I don't want to, anyone to, I don't want anyone to look at, go, look at, at me and go, nice dick. I don't want that. I don't want to accidentally see someone else, you know, pull out their dick. I don't want that. I prefer to just, you know, have my own place that I can sit or whatever. And be like, all right, let's, let's watch a YouTube video while I'm, you know. Or if I'm getting changed, I prefer to be able to, you know, get Changed in a place where no one has to see me. Uh, 
So, you know, I, I, pref I prefer to have my privacy, goddammit. Everyone should have their privacy. The vast majority of trans women are straight like men based on pretty much every, every state. Oh, really? That is interesting, Glenn. Is it do, like pe people do try and make it uh, sound as though it is uh, as though you know they're all lesbians, but oh yeah, I suppose like I do know. Hold on, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of all the trans women I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I suppose most of the trans women that I know. They do, except for one. Yeah, there's one that I know that is definitely, you know, straight. Uh, but then they're all. It's it's complicated. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what was I going to, okay. states should promote research, collect data, and compile statistics, especially comp concerning domestic violence relating to the prevalence of different forms of violence against women and encourage research on the causes, nature, seriousness, and consequences of violence against women and the effectiveness of measures implemented to prevent and reduce violence against women. Those statistics and findings of the research shall be made public. Oh, this is going into something that happened that talk, came out recently, didn't it? With like J.K. Rowling, this should include recognition that violence against women is one of the s crucial social mechanisms by which women as a sex are forced into a subordinate position compared to with men of as a sex, and that accurate research and data collection re relating to violence against women and girls requires that identification of both perpetrators. Uh, both the perpetrators and victims of such violence must be based on the sex, not gender identity. We need to make it about both the um, gender identity and uh, like whether they are trans or not. Because then we can find out, okay, what proportion of, what proportion of uh, trans women are likely to experience violence? We can't just say, oh, you know, um, let's just talk about sex and nothing else. We need to make sure that it's, you know, okay, well, what gender are they? Um, what, you know, what, what gender are they? What, um, are they trans or not? You know, th th there's a lot of things that we need to focus on rather than just being like, oh yeah, are they woman or male? Sorry. Are they woman of, uh, are they woman or man? Sorry. What if they're, what if they're neither? <laughs> what if they're non-binary, you know, like, like, cause like what proportion of NB people are, you know, experienced, uh, discrimination. Okay. What about, um, what about trans men? What if they are abused? What if they're abused by women? Says sex dis sex disaggregated data is data that is cross classified by sex, presenting information separately for men and women, boys and girls. Six sex disaggregated data reflects roles, real situations, general conditions of women and men, boys, girls and boys in every aspect of society. When data is not dis aggregated uh by sex it, it is more difficult to identify real and potential inequalities maybe we need to also you know include gender identity And then Darth Killer says there's a limited amount of studies th that do that. It's how we know trans people are more likely to be abused if they aren't in the bathroom of the agenda. Yeah. I, I need to like I need to get more studies on this thing because like it is often hard to find. It's hard to find the studies. It's not hard to find like articles talking about the studies, but then the 
And they don't link the studies and it's really annoying. Like generally it's also like you get panic stuff as well. If you have a cough or scratchy throat, take five drops of wild oregano under your tongue, clears that of course. Okay. <laughs> I just saw you. I just noticed your name. I was gonna say thank you, Daddy. <laughs> That's just particularly funny to me at this point because of what was talked about earlier. Anyway, and it goes. D states should include an, an analysis prepared by organisations and bodies of the United Nations of social trends and problems such as periodic reports on the world's social situation, examination of trends and violence against women. This should require states to ensure that the identities of perpetrators and victims of violence against women and girls are recorded on the basis of sex and not gender identity by all public bodies, including the police, state prosecutors and the courts. States should develop penal, civil, labour and administrative sanctions and domestic legislation to punish and redress the wrongs caused by two women who are subjected to violence. Women who are subjected to violence should be provided with access to the mechanisms of justice and provided for by national legislation to just and effective remedies for the harm that they have suffered. States should also inform women of their rights in, in seeking redress through such a mechanism. I mean... Can't we do the same for anyone that you know, goes that you know experiences violence? This should include the recognition recognition of the right of women and girls to accurately describe the sex of those who have perpetrated the violence against them. Public bodies such as police, state prosecutors, and the courts should not impose an obligation on victims of violence to describe their assailant, assailants. According to the gender identity rather than their sex. Or maybe maybe we should record the both the sex and gender identity of the person that, you know, both commit both the victims and the person that commits the um commits the crime. In article nine, reaffirming the need for protection of the rights of the child. I think this is the last article. We've almost made it. And all a. In all actions concerning children, whether undertaken by public or private social welfare institutions, courts of law, administrative authorities, or legislative bodies, the best interests of the child shall be a primary consideration. States should recognize that medical interventions aimed at the gender reassignment of children by the use of puberty uh, suppressing drugs, cross sex hormones, and surgery do not serve the best interests of the children. Children are not developed mentally competent to give full, free, informed, and informed consent to such medical interventions, which carry a high risk of long-term adverse consequences to the physical and psychological health of the child, and which may result in permanent adverse consequences such as sterility. States should prohibit the use of such medical interventions on children. Okay, so this particular thing, I think that it is fine to give. Children that have that have undergone, uh, you know, had a, that have uh, called, you know, had a gender dysphoria diagnosis. I think that it's okay to give them puberty blockers because you know what? I, oh, <laughs> Darth Killer saying, somebody please think of the children. Yes. I agree, somebody please think of the children, but unironically, please think of the children. You know, going through puberty, you know, carries a high risk of long-term adverse consequences to the physical and psychological health of the child, which may result in permanent adverse, adverse consequences, such as, you know, um... Being the wrong gender. <laughs> uh, but, like, memes aside, yeah, like... You know what... Like, they, they often say, oh, puberty blockers can, you know, screw people over. You know what can also screw people over? Puberty. They say, oh, pu... They try and say, well, what about the... What if they suffer irreducible... Irreversible effects from, uh... Puberty blockers? Well, 
What if they suffer irreversible effects from puberty? You know, puberty... I, I, yeah, um, Darth Killer's got a point. Puberty blockers are controversial when given to trans kids, but when given to cis kids, uh, they're not considered controversial. And they are given to cis kids. It goes on to say, states should recognize that medical intervention, interventions aimed at the gender reassignment of children by the use of drugs and surgery are emerging in harmful practices as defined by part five of the joint general recommendation number 31 on the the Committee of Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, comment number 18 of the Committee of the Rights of... Defined by Part 5 of the Joint General Recommendation number 31 of the Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, that's general comment number 18 of the Committee on the Rights of the Child on Half... Jesus Christ, that's a long. They should establish data collection on and monitoring processes to, in relation to these practices and enact the and enact and implement enact and implement geez, legislation aimed at eliminating them. States' provisions should include legal protections and appropriate care for children harmed by such practices and available of redress and reparations. Um, maybe we should just allow children to use puberty blockers because hey when kids take antibiotics they don't have to give full informed consent. <laughs> you know, when you give your child a vaccine, they don't have to give full informed consent. Same goes, f should go for puberty blockers. States should uh, recognize the right of the child to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health and facilities for the treatment of illness and rehabilitation of health that should include protection of the healthy body of the child from the use of drugs or surgery to the effect gender it's like yeah but what about the flip side of that coin where they are less healthy because they don't use gender reassignment treatment E E sounds nice I say that is a joke, by the way. States should ensure that the institution, services, and facilities responsible for the care or protection of children shall inform standards established by competent authorities, particularly in the areas of safety and health. This should include preventing organizations that promote the concept of uh, gender identity or con the two wins. Sees that have no clinical expertise or psychology background from influencing health services for children. I mean, maybe we should, maybe we should just stop everybody that has no, you know. May, okay, so we should allow organizations you know that promote the concept of gender identity otherwise you're erasing gender identity trying to erase gender identity stop it and we, sh we should allow those organizations to be able to you know have a have a say you know they can be competent authorities this is this is just turf stuff if states, geez, this is really a, they have hammered down on the, protect the children, somebody think of the children, don't they? States should respect the responsibilities, right, and duties of parents where applicable legal guardians or other persons legally responsible for the child to provide in a manner consistent with the evolving capacities of the child, appropriate direction and guidance in the exercise by the child of the rights recognized 
the present convention. States should prohibit agencies, public bodies, medical practitioners, and other child welfare professionals from taking any action which seeks to compel parents to consent to medical or other interventions aimed at changing the gender identities of the children. You know what? We should... If any... Um, okay. If any medical practitioner tries to do a blood transfusion with a child, you know, without the parent's consent, you know, then we should prevent that because it is bad. Oh, are we not going to? Okay. I guess, we'll, I guess we can't do that. Why are we doing it for gender identity and nothing else? G. They should recognise the rights of the child to education with a view to achieving this right progressively and on the basis of equal opportunity. This should include the right of the child to the development of school curricula, which are material accurate about human biology and reproduction. And include information about the human rights of people of diverse sexual orientations to taking into account the evolving capacity and psychological developmental stages of the child. What about people of diverse gender identities, you know? It'd be, it would have been great. I, I never actually learned about uh, gender identity in school. I, I didn't. We learned about, you know, some people can be gay. We never learned... You know, some people can be trans. Like we kind of, like <clears throat> okay, my first <clears throat> my jeez, my voice is going hoarse. My first introduction to the existence of trans people right was essentially w was from a classmate now i think i'd heard about trans people before or the idea of trans people before but it was it, like the first so essentially it was a thing where uh, like it was like a certain what was it? It was a wild. It was like the thing where we had to choose like a particular person to. Uh, what was it? Everyone was putting a case for someone who's a criminal, right? And one person was essentially playing a different gender than the one that they actually were. That was my first introduction to. My first real introduction, I guess, not even real, but like the first time that I had any idea about the concept of transitioning. And the term that was used, the term that was used to refer to them was the T-slur. No joke, that's the first time I heard about trans people. They were referred to as the T-slur. Didn't learn anything more about that until uh, years later, uh, when you start. I suppose there would have been a few things, but I didn't realize all the different all the different things. I guess. No, that I, I guess I didn't realize that bottom surgery was a choice, um, and it wasn't until the. Did you just assume my gender identity? Uh, did you just assume my gender attack helicopter meme? You know, it wasn't until that where I started actually learning more about proper, like, proper stuff around trans people and, like, meeting trans people has also been, like, a really big eye opener. And the whole thing about it's been really interesting to find out about how there's not only gender dys dysphoria, there's also gender euphoria. There's also like, you know, people sometimes just don't identify with uh, their assigned gender at birth. 
heaps of different things. And it's, and you know, not, not everyone, you know, changes their, t- uh, decides, okay, I'm, I want to have different gen- a different set of genitals. And Darth Gillis says, I didn't learn anything related to LGBTQ at school. The entire sick ed in my time was here, how reproduction works and also protect yourselves. I had to, yeah, I, I learned a little bit about the LGBT stuff. It was basically, you know, if you want to be gay, that's fine kind of thing. Because, you know, like, it was starting to be a thing where gay people were being, you know, more accepted. Uh, anyway, H is states shouldn't sure, yeah, states shouldn't incl- yeah. states should ensure inclusion in teaching and continuing professional development programs of accurate material about human biology and reproduction of information about the human rights of people to, of diverse sexual orientations, which should include the challenging of sex stereotypes and of homophobia. Yeah, let's let's challenge sex, uh, sex stereotypes. Let's challenge homophobia. Let's challenge transphobia as well. So, I, I, th- I thought this was I as one. <laughs> States agree that the education of the child shall be directed to the preparation of the child for a responsible life in a free society in the spirit of understanding, peace, tolerance, and equality of sexes. This should include measures to ensure that organisations are not allocating state funding to promote sex stereotyping and the concept of gender identity in educational institutions as this constitutes the promotion of discrimination against women and girls. Okay. So, gender is born out of stereotypes. Basically, gender is... A sort of what's culturally expected of you because of because of your gender right now you can decide okay i don't want to be this gender and then you know decide okay you know do all the things that would are expected of the other gender now it is up to you whether you can Consider that to be transgender or not, because gender is very complicated, <laughs> and some people might do that, you know, because some people will say, "Ah, oh, just because you're cross-dressed, that doesn't mean that you're transgender." Some people will consider, but then some people are like, "Well, what does what does this say about me?" Right? So if someone like if if it is, if it says something about you and how the way that you'd like to be treated, then it's part of your gender. If it's n- not, then you know you can you can be a cisgender person that wears um you know you can be a cisgender woman that wears um you know male clothing. You can be a cisgender male that wears female clothing. Can you change? Oh, CJ goes. Can you change your age? I mean, technically, it depends. Like what we're talking about. Like, age is kind of a social construct, construct as well as gender. In fact, gender is more of a social construct than age because age, at least, has some reference to something in the real world, right? So. For example, your age, so if your age is uh, 5, or well, my age is 25, right? Why am I not 26? Is a good question. The reason why I'm not 26 is because they decided, okay, that we're going to start counting as soon as you are born. Not uh, when we thought you were conceived, but when you were born. In other countries, I would be 26 because they count it from when you are when you're born, you are considered one. Now, we could have an age system. G- 
gender norms were such are the societal expectation based upon your s- it's okay so um i would say that it is gender norms so they do initially base what box they like to put you in based on your uh based on your sex but then so they they essentially take your sex right and say okay we're gonna put this assign this gender to you after that it's gender norms right if you um you decide to transition it's still gender norms uh, and it's based on your like it's based on which gender you are uh and Chris Midgley says, thanks for being such a great advocate for everyone that you fight for. My mate and I watch you all the time while we game and it's inspirational. Thanks. Well, thank you, Chris Midgley, for uh, watching. It's always nice to have people just lurking in the chat. And it makes me wonder, like, how many people just lurk? And, you know, they, they will be listening to me, but they won't type in the chat because they're either busy at work or doing something, you know? Makes me wonder. Because not everyone you know, wants to chat. And CJ says, scientists can't pr- even prove five minutes ago existed. We can infer that five minutes ago existed. You tried to use the word gender as your descri- definition slash description of the word gender was my correction. Well, yeah, the, I suppose like gender, I should use gender norms. Like gender norms are more based off the clothes that you wear uh, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas your gender is different to that. Doctors explained how you have a biological age and a chronological age. Someone sells telomeres age. Sl- someone, ah, oh, telomeres. Someone sells. This, Age style, then someone has to have a, bio, they have a biological young age. Yeah. So chronolog- your age is based off your chronological age. But the exact age that you are, right, your exact chronological age that you are, is kind of somewhat, like, we can change things. Like, I think it would be much better to have your age times by three, right? So I'd be 100. Jeez, that would make me sound old, right? And right, so I'd be no times by four, not three. Yeah, times by four. So I'd be one hundred. I'd actually be a uh, hundred and three because you'd when you get born you'd be three, uh, three age units old. All right, and we don't we won't call this years. We can be call it quartets. You know, and that would be your age. You're born, you're three quartets old, and then e- every quarter of a year, you, 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 you know, get one quartet holder. Age dysphoria. Just... Okay. Age dysphoria is interesting. Maybe that's, <laughs> maybe I, I, I don't think I'd have age dysphoria. It's like, it's like I, I'm never happy with how how I look when it comes to my age, <laughs> or how old I look, should I say? So like maybe it's just. Eh. Surf says I never lurk. <laughs> exactly, Surf. I don't know the age, but the main thing that I get is age is age is somewhat like sex, right? So sex is bimodal, based on things like genetics. The, but it's not like a thing that, uh, that is as solid as people like to think it is. Right, it's more complicated than oh x y or x x. Because there's x x y, even though that's like as I said, bimodal distribution. Uh, it's not. Binary. Bimodal essentially means that most people are one of two things, but there are some people that aren't. But anyway, 
when it comes to, so that's kind of like age, right? Age dysphoria is different from gender dysphoria in one thing. There's no remedy for age dysphoria. Once you're physically older than your mental age, your dysphoria gets worse and worse. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I just, I, I'm kind of terrified of getting older, to be fair. Yeah, I, I don't like the idea of getting older. More, it's more of the fact that, even though I probably have like 50 years ahead of me, it's kind of weird thinking that like, as I get to later years, I'm not going to be as able-bodied as I am these days. I'm either about to be 153 trimesters or about to be 156 trimesters. Respect my arbitrary choice of age determination. Exactly, hey T2. You're getting it. Uh... Well, what else? I, oh, yeah. So, the m gender is more... L in respect to age, gender is actually more like generation, right? What generation am I? I am a zillennial. <laughs> like, I'm somewhere between, like, millennial and Gen Z. And generation... Like, there are stereotypes like the lazy millennial or um, cringe Gen Z or what's the stereotype of Gen X? Like, Gen X, the arsehole Gen X, you know, or the, um, you know, the, the boomer. It kind of has its own, you know, out of touch with uh, everything boomer, you know. Those are stereotypes of generations. If you fit, like, I've been called a boomer by my sister. I, like, even though I'm not actually a boomer. Okay. That's interesting, Darth Killer. Yeah. So, yeah, gender is like generations. And... <laughs> okay, Boomer from Black Rod says, Oh, yeah, I get it all the time. <laughs> yeah, you can't see why, why people would say, Okay, Boomer. I mean, I, I still call you Usher of Black Rod. Because, you know, still a good meme. But yeah, like, um, reminds me of a meme I have. Gen X says, shut the fuck up, millennial. Gen Z says, okay, boomer. Actual boomer stays silent in confusion. And actual millennial says, why is life, my life so hard? Yeah. CJ says that, well, there's really no such thing as subjective. Everything is objective. Morality would disagree, CJ. Also, like, everyth like everything is subjective uh, because we can't know what is objective, right? Depend it does, does depend what stance you take, but from our perspective, everything is subjective because there is no way to know that what is objective, what is truly objective. Uh, so, there may be an objective world, that is very possible, but there's no way to actually uh, experience that through an objective lens. Everything is filtered through a subjective experience. Whether it be morality, whether it be even science, uh, there's certain things, all phenomena is objective. It's still filtered through an object, a subjective lens and there's no way to know if that's objective or whether it's actually something that's subjective. There's no, F, yeah, there's no absolute referential that we can find or conceptualize. We can't, because we are human beings that, you know, we have a mind that isn't, you know, form, feeling, perception, thought, formation and 
form feeling perception thought formation thought i think you mean thought i right, yeah thought formation and consciousness these five things you have no control over make the basis of your experience yeah like essentially them there is probably an objective uh thing behind like when i touch this there's probably an objective thing there which means that i feel you know i i, I feel this table here However, it's completely filtered through a subjective experience, um, which may not even be happening because um, because does reality even exist? And there's no way to prove that reality actually exists. Uh, the only way there, literally, there's no way to to prove if reality exists. However. It seems that reality exists, so I'm going to treat it like it does. I may just be a brain in a vet after all. I may be in the Matrix. Much in the same way that if I put VR goggles on and it's like, if I believe that world is real because of my experience, or like if we do a full dive thing, you know, it seems real, but it's not. <laughs> just because something seems real doesn't mean that it necessarily is. The it's just a comes down to okay, am I going to treat it like it is real? And yeah, I'm going to treat reality like it is real. I'm going to treat reality, and that's why that's why peer review is a thing, right? Because we can't know if if something is just this you know once off thing that happens. So we subjectively take it as. You know, uh, or, or we don't know if subjective biases are getting in the way of things, or we don't. So we peer review articles in science so that if we can find something that's actually true about the world. Anyway, we we got to. The, I mean, I didn't read J, but it's just that she'll protect the. Ch oh, okay, let's read J. They shall protect the child against all forms of ex exploitation prejudicial to any aspects of child welfare. This should include effective and appropriate legal measures to a view abolishing traditional and emerging practices which force sex role stereotypes on boys and girls, treat, diagnosing and treating children as being having been born in the wrong body when they do not conform to traditional sex role stereotypes, identifying young people who are the same sex attracted as suffering from gender dysphoria, using medical interventions on children. Yeah, this is not how gender dysphoria is diagnosed at all. So, okay, anyway. Uh, back to the conversation that was. You know what solipsism is? It's a valid philosophy and it's what kind of walk used to counter your argument of objectivity. So... Yeah, like basically, um, basically, it is solipsism. Now, I'm, I personally, like, I, you, the way that I treat things is I don't treat, I don't view reality with solipsism, or I don't view what is reality with solipsism. It's more of a thing of, yeah, we can really never know. But I have to treat it like, because I live here, and I don't know if there's any life after death, so I'm not... There's no such thing as solipsism, it's an impossibility. I mean, philosophy... <laughs> when it comes to philosophy... It's... I don't think anything is really impossible, <laughs> you know? We can... You know, we can question whether reality is real. And what if this is just a VR experience from in depth psychology? There is the object and the observer. It's fundamentally f possible for someone to have solipsism. But what if you don't know? It's, impo it's impossible and very obvious if you study anything about the ego. I mean, now it, it is one of the things we. As I said, I don't know if I can prove reality. I assume reality exists because, you know, 
something that probably exists. But for me, if I if I want to want to say about something objective, we can't know about anything objective because we are have to filter it through subjective being, subjective lenses. You cannot know anything objective, which does beg the question, or does uh, raise a question of, can we know if anything that we experience is objective? We can't. I mean, we can still operate in a solipsist uh, framework, There are, six, there are six axioms in science, and solipsism is about not accepting axiom one. Nature exists. Axioms can be, rejected, can be rejected just fine. They're just assumed true for practicality. Similar to how there's no such thing as anarchy as impossible. Eh, anarchy is one of the things where... Yeah, you're going to probably, I mean, there are ways in which you could make anarchy work, but, like, try and make some sort of anarchy, like, but it's probably not going to be recognisable as anarchy for too long. Similar how there's no such thing as an atheist. It's impossible to be an atheist. If someone says they're an atheist, they do not understand basic psychology. Please do enlighten me, because I am an atheist. Um, I actually consider myself an atheist. Well, I'm actually a theological non-cognitivist because, which I can, because of the way that I view it. Like the way that I view it is, there's a certain bar that has to be met for me to consider something in the realm of possibility. So flat Earth is not even in the word in the realm of possibility. Flat Earth is just not possible uh, to my brain. However, I mean, it could be flat, I guess, but I have to do a lot of disregarding, like, a lot of evidence. And it's probably, probably never going, we're probably never going to find out that the Earth is flat, so it's just, eh, I disregard it as a possibility. The same goes for uh, God, but the reason why I do that for God is because of uh, God is just a nonsensical thing. There is a religious law. There is a li religious law in the human psyche, and it will be filled. But what religious law is that? Well, then you can call your religion zeitgeist, but it's if you want, but it's still. A I mean, this is getting into, I think you're going into the, uh, I think it's, I, um, I can't remember the particular person that basically defined religion as something broad, but you can be a religious atheist. You can, you can be a religious atheist. Religion and atheism are two different things. Atheism refers specifically to a lack of uh, belief in a deity. Right? Depending on the particular type of um, thing you use. So some people refer to atheism as not believing uh, believing that no gods exist. Right? And I'd say that I'd also fit into that category of atheist. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe that any gods exist. Uh, primarily because I'm also a theological non-cognitivist, so I don't think that we can really define God in such a way that would uh, be able to be, what's the word, be, uh, word, what's the opposite of contradictory? Be consistent. I don't think that God can be described in a consistent way, and therefore, I, I don't think that, um, I don't think that God can exist. So, 
yeah, Glenn Collins says, I know a lot of Buddhists who don't believe in a god or gods. So, so, um, so you can be atheist and believe in a religion. You can be a religious atheist. Those two terms aren't mutually exclusive. And I, I feel like you're stretching everything, like everything to mean to be a religion there, CJ. I feel like religion needs to be a bit more defined than just something that you make up. So, yeah, because the social constructs are, are a thing. Like, when you turn, when you're growing up, when you turn 18, that's a social construct rather than psychology. You can't, you can call it religion or you can call it your prefrontal lobe. Basic, basically, what you're conflating, CJ, I, I want to know, are you still conflating atheism and religion? Because if you are, then you are... You're conflating the two. It doesn't matter what you think you deep down believe in a higher force. I, the only higher force that I believe in is the universe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Darth Killer's got it right. Sounds to me like CJ just wants everything to be a religion. You can say you're an atheist, but... But I don't believe, I, I think that gods are impossible. And not within the realm of, I don't think that gods are within the realm of possibility. A higher force does not mean God. I'm a theological non-cognitivist, which means that I think that gods are too contradictory to even exist. I, I, like everything, any higher force that I believe in, that I believe uh, exists, any higher force that I, that I think ex exists is something that can be measured in reality. I I, I just don't. I just don't think that there's a possibility that there's any supernatural things. And for me, you want to say that someone is, an, is not an atheist, you have to prove that they believe in something that is not su in something that is supernatural. I, I can tell you that I don't believe anything that's supernatural. We can never know the truth, so we'll all have false beliefs. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that, that doesn't stop people from being atheists. Anyway, um, I've got about half an hour left uh, for the stream. So let's go on to this. I'll be willing to debate you on the CJ if you want. I got an email that you can email me. Although I do have, I do have to email uh, F'd Up World sometime soon because I haven't been able to stream lately, but now I can, so that's good. I, I'm sorry, but I am an atheist. As someone who is an atheist, I can tell you that I am an atheist. <laughs> Unless you're... Basically, what you're doing is you're defining... You're defining God as a higher power, right? It's like, okay, we need to define what a higher power even is. And saying that because everyone believes in a higher power, that they believe in a God, so therefore they're not an atheist. However, for me, it's like, okay, well, what even is a higher power? And... Is that consistent with what people would call a god? Because a god, I don't think can be... Def I, I don't think that it's logical to define a god as something that is that simply exists. I think that it has to do more than simply existing.
So, yeah, so this is a um, protest that was happening because of anti-vaxxers. Anti-vaxxers are now attacking the Apple store as they think it's owned by Bill Gates. How? Like, sure, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, like, yeah, the last name kind of descri- seems to describe something ordinary, and the first name is a common name, but, like, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates are two different people. CJ, are you a Jordan Peterson fan? You're a Jordan Peterson fan, aren't you? I'm I'm predicting it right now that you're a Jordan Peterson fan. I'm calling it. If I'm wrong, then... I mean, hey, I'll be wrong, but... I, I'm pretty sure... Like, especially seeing as you just brought up Carl Jung. And because you're saying that atheists aren't really atheists. I'm calling it right now, though. Uh, we. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, oh, we've got more anti anti vax stuff. So, yeah, no one's no one said that. Yeah, anti vaxxers are not the cleverest cleverest bunch. Uh, we've also got. Okay. This is a thing that happened. Who are the persons breaking into stores to steal anything? If, I don't know, but either way, like, it's just hilarious that they, <laughs> they were attacking an Apple store because they think that it's owned by Bill Gates. CJ, you've got five minutes to answer, right? Five minutes to answer if you're a uh, Jordan Peterson fan. I just want to know if you are. It's a genuine question. Are you a Jordan Peterson fan? Oh, you're not? Okay, cool. I just thought you were because it sounds... Sounds suspiciously like the sort of things that I've heard Jordan Peterson say. Especially the telling an atheist that he's not an atheist. <laughs> because of like metaphysics or something. And bringing out like Carl Jung. Like, Carl Jung is my deep lover! <laughs> you know. But anyway, here's, um, here's a few anti-vaxxers that were at the Australian protests. Are you heading back to Parliament tomorrow? Or? Yeah, I'll be back in tomorrow, dude. Just today, I just, I worked and then got to the end of the day and I'm like, nah, I, I wanted to go to bed at like seven, but I'm trying to stay up till a bit later. But I'm freaking tired, man. Yes, yeah, I slept like, I've just, I, in the last three days, I've slept like probably... 15 hours a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was pretty run down, bro. I took like yeah. 12,000 12, uh, milligrams of vitamin C, which is yeah. an incredibly high dosage. Is that even like 12,000? I don't know if 12,000 milligrams is a lot, but that sound, is that dangerous at all? Like, just because you take a whole lot of vitamin C doesn't mean that, you're, um, that your immune system is good, you know? Right, it's like a week's dosage in two days. So, and it's you know what? Maybe- yeah, more vitamin C doesn't mean that you're going to have better immune system. Uh, at best, you it's a placebo. Maybe feel a lot better. Get your vitamins in you, man. Yeah, but placebo. Also, I've been did- taking vitamin C and zinc. Yeah, and quers- quercetin. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of thinking now they're going to fucking start spraying us. Yeah. Like, we start masking up, like, I don't know. I kind of think they're coming at us pretty aggressively. Do you know what I called out this afternoon? I said at those protests, it's the perfect situation to drop some spray out somewhere. The, the cops are wearing masks, so they're not about to catch COVID. 
and the protesters could suddenly be like, I'm, get, I'm feeling sick. They're not going to report it, but they may catch whatever it is that they're putting in the sky. But, I don't know. It, there was just a weird taste in the sky. I, I swear on Saturday. I mean, I was off my face again, but there was a weird taste. Even two days prior to that at Parliament, there was a weird yes. taste. Yes. Same pepper spray taste. It's, I would call it like a peppery chemical taste. It's so, yeah, they're, they're saying that they... they... <laughs> They are spraying COVID over the protesters rather than just admitting that, you know, it's probably being spread by protesters that are not wearing masks. You know? Well, it helps the, like, it does help immunity, like, a tiny bit, but, like, like, one of the, okay, one full gram of several times, okay, like, essentially, vitamin C is not a magic of oh, your immune system will get better because you take it, it's something that, like, if, it's something that, you know, there's a certain amount that it will, like, if you have, like, how do I put this? If you have your standard amount of vitamin C a day, then you should be fine. And having, like, vitamin C tablets on top of that probably isn't going to boost your immune system. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. I think you're a little bit behind, CJ, because I asked that question a while ago, and it... Uh, who knows? Maybe maybe my stream's slow. I can't... Yeah. Can't... Okay, this is really confusing me. You know, look at my stream on my, on my end. It's like saying that it's... Saying that it's been going for like two hours, but then it also says it's been going for like three hours. <laughs> Really weird how it, oh, oh actually I know I know why. Yeah, I I, I understand fully why. I'm not saying that's gonna abuse the immune system the same way the way medication would do, I'm saying it's Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I need to, like, that, that, um, that makes sense why it's in Garana things as well. Like, Garana is a great way to get your caffeine. <laughs> with no problems with uh, vitamin C and D in, in, here in Florida, USA, sun is here, and plenty of oranges, fresh and veggies. I mean, you've got other... Sorry to shit on Florida, but, <laughs> like, you got other issues in Florida. Mostly the... Notorious Florida man running around. <laughs> that even like people in un other countries know about Florida man these days. Uh, but anyway. There is a... There is a person in New Zealand. Right? So, essentially, this person posted, so a certain person of interest who has been vaccinated but not admitting it went to a North Shore vaccination centre far from where said person lives and tried to give a false name. So, this is New Zealand, and there is one person in New Zealand who is very notorious. They're an anti-vaxxer, notorious anti-vaxxer, um, leader of Destiny's Church, not the... Not the destiny that has a girl's name. Uh, everyone knows the meme. Uh, hopefully everyone knows the meme. But, uh, you know, destiny as destiny's church is just a church. Anyway, what... <clears throat> what, can, what can happen... I don't know, I'm trying to... 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So what this person is is they are called they're called Brian Tamaki. And yeah, so they appear to be vaccinated and yeah, we've got people asking, uh wouldn't would be a certain church leader named after a magic roundabout snail, would it? Rhymes with try and bummaki. <laughs> And yeah, so seems like Brian Tamaki is probably vaccinated. You know, people that are it's shocking. Imagine my shock. When it turns out that someone who is rallying against vaccine things decides to be vaccinated. Imagine my shock there. Almost like they you know, they they think that vaccines are probably good, actually. Uh, we've also got... So Fox News has just found out about tankies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I... Okay, so... If, in case you don't know what tankies are... Tankies are basically people that... They, they think that the USSR was good. Spoiler alert, the USSR is not good. Uh, they, th they think that the USSR was good and, you know, should have continued and they're against Western imperialism, uh, but not imperialism of other countries that they agree with. Like basically, if something has the branding, only country that they would not agree with would be like out of the thing would probably be like North Korea because like even though North Korea does try and brand itself as communist it's I think that's the only place that would be branded as communist that tankies would be like oh yeah we we don't like but yeah um essentially tankies are bad so yeah, uh, probably worse than Antifa, like a hundred times worse than Antifa, you know, like the, I, I don't see them out going out protesting though, so but the tankies tend to be more online than I anywhere. Why is this a jaded? That is a good question. That is a good question. Huh. Has Fox News... I'm actually going to check this. Because I, I don't believe it. Fox News... Tankies. Yeah, see... Okay. It doesn't seem to exist. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fox News still hasn't learned about tankies. Like, honestly, tankies are probably worse than, uh, definitely worse than Antifa, because, like, you know, Antifa is anti-fascist. Tankies are, like, pro-USSR. I'm surprised, I'm surprised that the Fox News hasn't actually talked about tankies. Like, they're such an easy target, because no one likes tankies. Why has Fox News not even talked about tankies? Yeah. Uh, Darth Killer says, I also love how Fox New Fox keeps claiming uh, there's any form of left-wing representation in the States. They would be shocked to learn that even Bernie Sanders was barely seen as a centrist. Yeah, like, Bernie, I'd say it would be probably left of centre, right? 
But I think that Bernie would be like the same area as just in Daradurn, right? Just left or center. Uh, just in Daradurn is just left. Actually, I'd say no. Just in Daradurn is slightly left left of Bernie. I'd say yeah. But she's still pretty centrist. People do uh, ape for the USSR. Ape for, um, care for the USSR. I, I don't know. Like I, I yeah. Like uh, what? When it comes to USSR, USSR bad. Like. You'll never catch me defending the USSR. It did like, like maybe one or two things, but like for the most part, they were bad. Like, like I, I'd, a lot of people will try and say, "Oh, you think socialism is good? What about the USSR?" It's like, yeah, the USSR was bad. Socialism is like a various things, and besides, I'm not socialist. I'm super capitalist. I believe in super capitalism. Super capitalism. <laughs> you know? Where um if you work at a company, you own some of that company. Because, you know. Or, at or you at least have decisive um You have a sway over how business is done. Right? Like if you like if everyone agrees you need to hire another person, you hire another person because that's better than overworking yourself. You know, if you agree that you need to raise prices, you raise prices. The business uh, goes under. It's a collective effort from everyone there. But you have a stake in the business, so you don't want it to go under. You want to take... Everybody there collectively does not want the business to go under because they have a stake in the business, and if the business goes under, they lose... They, they basically, you know, the business shuts down, they lose their job, and all that kind of stuff. Libs aren't left-wing, at least not in the States, they're moderate, right? Yeah, like, liberals, uh, they tend to be, like, they, they tend to be, uh, sort of center. Like, a lot of people try and equate liberal and left-wing, but no, like, then there's also like neoliberal and then like liberal. The neoliberal is like right. Neoliberal is definitely right wing. But liberal is more left. But it's not like super left. <laughs> it's like center left, at least like, or, or center. I'd say that, yeah, I'd say liberal would be somewhere in the center. Neoliberal is definitely to the right of things. Like, definitely. But then, like, everything also exists. So, like, liberal and neo... Like, neoliberal is more uh, center libertarian. Or, or, no, right libertarian. Whereas uh, liberal would be, like, left libertarian-ish. Yeah, roughly about there. Whereas conservatism is, tends to be more towards the authoritarian side of, um, of the uh, spectrum, <laughs> you know? Like, it's not just like a 1D spectrum like some people would say. Because the 1D spectrum really does warp your way of thinking and makes you come up, come up with some really bad conclusions. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it for today. What are people saying? Are we still... CJ, email me and I'll organise a debate with you about whether I'm an atheist or not. Because I, I, I maintain that I'm a... I actually maintain that I'm a the non, theological non-cognitivist. Which means that I don't think that God can be well enough... Well defined well enough to be able to actually have some... Some kind of coherent idea about him. 
Like, I think that God is fundamentally inco- an incoherent idea and therefore cannot exist. In Australia, the Liberals are con- the Conservative and def- definitely right of centre. Some of the oh yeah, Liberal Party in Australia or the Liberal Government need to do the friendly Geordies thing. Uh, yeah, like they're definitely like the Conservatives there. I don't know if the Nationals like. I don't know where the Nationals sit in relation to the Liberals. I like are the Nationals like right of the Liberals or left of the Liberals? Roughly. Tankies are Marxist uh, commies. BLM. Uh, tankies are not anti like not the same as Antifa, Black Nationalist, and BLM. Tanky. Okay, so Marxists. Okay, so. Tankies are like Leninists, uh, Marxist sort of things, you know, you know, Stalinists and those kinds of people that thought that the USSR was good. BLM, okay, BLM is just a movement. Uh, there are some people in BLM that will be like, oh yeah, we uh, think that the USSR did no wrong, you know. Black nationalists... Black nationalists like that. They they're nowhere. Like I suppose you can try and have communist black nationalists, but like nationalism is not very communist, from what I can tell. And Antifa is anti-fascist, so you know Antifa can be like as long as you're against fascism. And I'd argue that, you know, Stalin and all that were close to being fascists, if not. Yankees are the ones blocking traffic. Maybe. I'd say nationals are right wingers, Pauline Hanks and. But are they like more right wing than liberals or less? From... Tepo Tulpo says atheism is obviously not much more than a fantasy created for modern fantasy role players. Like, atheism is like I I don't know like I I I don't know what that comment gets at, but I'd say that atheism is like basically saying that God doesn't exist. Or that they don't believe in a god. If someone has the concept of god in their mind, then they very creates a paradigm that it's not impossible to that it's impossible to not believe in. You can only believe in something. You can only believe in something you don't know about. What do you mean? I can only believe. I can't believe in something that I don't know about. Because if I don't know about it, how can I believe in it? Because God, I do not believe that God exists. I do not believe that there is a coherent enough idea of God. Are oh, even more right than liberals? Okay, cool. That, that clears things up for me. Yeah, so I, I don't think that you can only not believe in something. If you, Oh, you can only not believe in something if you've never heard of it. But if you have the concept, then, it, then it's playing on your life. And, yeah, it can play a role, like, because, okay, because people have this concept of God, it can play a role in, and they tell me about this concept, just like we're doing now. I, I can, it plays a role in my life, obviously, because I'm talking about it, but it's not something that I believe. Like, just because some, an idea, right, can exist as an idea, but not be something that people believe in. Like, I don't believe, like, for example, I don't believe that fascism is a good system of uh, governing, right? I 
this is an idea that people have. I can talk about it. But just because I talk about it doesn't mean that I believe that, you know, suddenly fascism is a good system of governing. I don't believe that. Yeah, I've heard of Harry Potter. I don't believe in him. Harry Potter plays a role in people's life. Uh, what about... Uh, what about Cloud Strife? Any fictional character. We are introduced to the idea. It doesn't mean that we think that this character actually exists. I'm saying Harry Potter does exist. No, Harry Potter doesn't exist to you. We can separate what is... Our brains have the capacity to separate what is actually real what we perceive as real and what we don't perceive as real our brains have the capacity to separate what we perceive as fiction and what we perceive as fact we can separate this just because harry potter just because we've heard of this idea of harry potter doesn't mean that we actually think that harry potter is real we don't believe in harry potter we just think that oh harry potter is a character We can't, I, can't, I can't say that you be, because you, yeah concept doesn't mean we think that it's real that's what I mean that's what an atheist is an atheist is someone that doesn't believe that God is real that makes sense to you CJ we can we can conceptualize things and there are, we can conceptualize things without them being real. And I'm, I'm not sure what you're going on about Catherine Smith. I don't know what you're going on about. You say you feel safe, you are you know, good for you. Like, what does that mean? Interesting, they run to stand six when threatened in opinions and views. Get what I'm saying? Okay, cool. I'm not sure. What... And also, like, I just I scroll a lot. Those groups constantly putting their messages out and sending. MB, MSNBC, etc. Glad to spread their speeches. I don't think that the major news stations are spreading tanky messages. They are then. That's not good. Firstly, it's not going to. Like, most people in America are not going to be receptive to tanky messaging. That's like. I I have never heard tanky messaging being put on. I mean, MSNBC. Uh, are we are we saying that tankies have like a lot of control? like tankies? Yeah, they'll be loud. Yeah, sure, but they're they're not like representative of the left in general. Like what's perceived of not representative of what's perceived as the left in especially in America. Like, they are like fringe a, a fringe group. Like basically authoritarian left fringe group the Dems are the first to stereotype label and hate area others no one wants to be stereotyped labeled hated that's the Dems prejudice they hate speak anyone with different opinion do they though do they though here in France, we're not receptive either, and unlike the state where we have a big left-wing representation, so our communists are still democratic ones, not totalitarian like USSR. Okay, well, that's good. All right, what's an actual example of, like, being stereotyped? Like, I've heard... Tankies fight amongst themselves quite a bit. Oh, yeah, like, probably... I think it's mostly the left that fights amongst itself. 
Like, because you got, like, people... Because you basically got people that are, like... Or what's considered the lift, at least. So you got people like Belsh. Sorry, I had to say his name is Voosh. Um, he, he will fight with the tankies, right? And then you got people like Jimmy Dore that uh, are also like tanky adjacent, maybe. They're like, you know, criticizing people like the squad for not being left, far left enough. Uh, and like but like oh yeah going back to what Catherine said like doesn't the right label anyone as like BLM as like communist and Tifa isn't, isn't that the, the thing that and all the Democrats are far left despite, you know, uh, who's that guy? Um, who's, that, who's that guy that people... Joe Manchin. The right fired amongst themselves in a different... Oh, yeah, definitely. The tankies are fighting amongst each other for money, attention, new members, most... I don't know any mainstream tanky do mainstream tankies exist I've, have I been living under a rock have, have I been living under a rock and it turns out that t mainstream tankies are a thing I'm I'm sure that tankies are not a mainstream thing. When did when did tankies become a mainstream thing? Have I been if they if they're fighting amongst themselves for money, attention, new, new members? That implies that they're mainstream. Tan <laughs> the good old days when left was just that you wanted something else. Other than a king, yeah. Uh, nowadays, left means please let us have decent health care and not have to pay like millions of dollars to be able to afford a house. Basically, it means can, can the poor people please be able to afford to live? Well, that's m well, most of it. And, well, that's mostly in America. In New Zealand, it's more... Can we please ban, like, certain things so that poor people can be able to... A, be able to afford a house, and B, be able to afford dental care. Because dental care is still fairly expensive in New Zealand. Can we just, like, put dental care and all that under... Under healthcare. A left and right still have one. Oh yeah, that, well yeah, that's true. Like le well that's progressive versus conserv conservative or socially conservative. Yeah, like l left wing, well, it's the progressives that want change. It's, it's progressive versus traditional. With that, when it comes, and left tends to be more um, tends to embrace tr tends, tends to embrace progressiveness a lot more than the right does, which is the right and conservatives tend to be very traditionalist. This is the way that things are. This is the way that things must be. This is the way that things always have been. So, you know, yeah. Christian churches are having problems due to promoting mask wearing either n or no mask wearing getting the vaccines or not getting asking for Christian churches are having problems due to promoting mask masking wearing or no mask wearing getting the vaccines or not getting the vaccines asking for donations why are we getting so many
Hankies are progressive, but they are also revolutionary, which is the opposite of reformism. There is nothing, and then Ringbinder says there is nothing conservative about the populist right in America. Um, I mean, it is. I'd say that they want to go back to. Like, isn't the whole thing from the populist right make America great again? Isn't that their chant? Which implies that they are wanting to go back to the thing which is conservative. Conservative is generally traditionalist. And Darth Killer says tankies are progressive but they are also revolutionary. Yeah, uh, I, to an extent, I think tankies are just anti-Western imperialism, honestly. Anything that America does is bad, and anything that China or the USSR or Russia does is good. To the point where they'll just ignore things like, you know, the Uyghur genocide in uh, China. No, they'll, they'll just ignore the Uyghur genocide in China. And that's like... America was once great at... <laughs> in 1734... Um, December 8th at 6.34pm and then it was over. That does... That it does throw me off a little bit the way that you've done it, but I, at least I know that it's December, not um, not uh, what's the eighth month? Jeez, I have gotten the eighth month of the year. The eighth month of the year is October. No, not October. Uh, September. No, August. You're massively regressive, which isn't exact. I mean, yeah, to an, ex to an extent, maybe. Still very traditionalist. You know, bring, got to bring back the manufacturing. The manufacturing is never coming back because I, if they bring it back to America, the cost of it would, they might as well just automate it. Right, if if you if you going to increase the cost of man, manufacturing by bringing it back to America, where they've got to adhere to minimum wage standards, they might as well just automate it. And sure, there might be a few manufacturing jobs that are brought back, but not enough to make up for the loss of jobs in automation. But we should automate everything every anyway because automation is, you know, it means that we all have to do less work, which is a good thing. DJ says govern Latin for control, mint Latin for mind. Let's see uh, where go govern, isn't it like one mind? Government, and then, oh, I have a meme for it to end on. Government, uh, what's the word? Epi... Oh. I think of the... What's the word for, like, when you want to work out... Etymology. Okay. Oh, I like this thing here where it's like.
Okay, so it seems that it came from French. Let, let, yeah, so let's go here. And then we'll end up the stream afterwards. Uh, after the Okay, etym etymology. It seems to have come from uh, old French of government. Um, government etymology. Let's we go to here. Old French um, government control direction administration from governor to steer, be at the helm of govern rule command direct to direct rule guide and govern to steer pilot, meaning governing power. Okay, yeah. So, like, yeah, it's. It comes from like control, but. Like, it's more of. Yeah. Here's the thing that people don't ex don't understand. It's good to be in control. If no one's in control, then things are probably gone to shit. You know. But yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna put a thing because. Where is it? Um, is, this, is this it? Ah, here we go. Socialism is. Okay, we're gonna end on end, end on this meme. This is a good meme. I love this meme. I love how it doesn't autoplay on on there. Socialism is when the government does stuff. And it's more socialism, the more stuff it does. And if it does a real lot of stuff, it's communism. All right, that's a, that's a good meme to end on. <laughs> I, I, I love that thing. Socialism is when the government does stuff. Anyway, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you like the stream. Leave a comment letting me know what you'd like me to do for future streams. Uh, be sure to go to Ahoy Hoy Games and follow on there. Do I have any more followers on? Oh, we've got 11 followers. I'll post a thing in the chat so that people can. It's a good meme, though. So yeah, make sure you go follow Hoi, Hoi Games for more updates on Lurifia, because, you know, I'll post things about what's, about what's happening. Language precedes reality. What does that even mean, language precedes reality? Language is based on... What, like, language is descriptive. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. Anyway, um, yeah. So, leave a like and subscribe if you like the stream. Leave a comment, let me know what you'd like me to do for future streams. And I will see you in the next stream. Between you and me, thank you for watching.